Hi guys, it's time for our rhythmic warm up. Repeat after me and pick your rhythm. Fist pump to the beat as you say it, tap, jump, whatever you want to do. A apple a. Ah. E add a. Eh. I itch i. Eh. O octopus. U up a. Uh. C H chin ch. T H thumb. Q U qu. S snakes. S bugs z. O N G. Long ong. U N. UNG lung ung. UNK junk unk. ONK honk unk. I knew it wasn't right. ONG is song. How many of you knew I was wrong? Didn't sound right. Let's do this one again. ONG song ong. Okay, nice job. And next part of our warm up is going to be trick words today. So I would like you to please try to say them before I do. Let me get one more unit up. All right, here we go. Say, says, see, between, eat, would, could, should, her, over, number, any, many, how, now, down, out, about, hour. Did you notice I did that to a rhythm? Since we've been talking about rhythms. Okay, great. So next, we are going to revisit our story time story that we've looked at twice now. Do you remember this one called The Skunk? Yeah, I want you to go ahead and try to make a movie in your mind and picture what happened in this story. Remember the kids, picture where they were. And they were having fun with the things they were doing. And then where did they go? They went to swim. They went on the swings. You picturing that? Remember, making these pictures or this movie is called visualizing. Good readers visualize to help them understand what they're reading. Oh, and are you picturing they went into that tent? And what happened? Yeah, they sat up one by one and they're like, it stinks. We smell a skog. And then what did they do? They ran out and they saw a skunk, right? And they yelled for help. And then they went into the tent and hid. And then they went to sleep. The skunk didn't chase them or anything. Okay, I'm glad you remembered that story too. Okay, so this kind of story is called narrative fiction. Can everybody say fiction? Fiction starts with, <laughs> starts with an F. And F makes me think of fake. Right? This isn't a story that really happened. So it's a make-believe story. It's a fake make-believe story. So some books have stories that are pretend or make-believe. They could be about people or animals, but it's make-believe. And the whole point is to entertain us, just to be a cool and fun story. Just like some TV shows are fiction. And we watch them like um, I watched Clifford the Big Red Dog this morning. It's a fictional show about a giant dog, right? It's fake, it's not real, but it's entertaining. And then some other books tell us facts or information. Um, and they teach us things that are true, like on um, the Discovery Channel, maybe you could learn about whales, or on National Geographic, you could learn about other countries. So those are called nonfiction. So they're not fiction. Non means not. Um, and it, and it teaches them some true information. 
So I am going to go to my bookshelf and get a book that has that is nonfiction. I'll be right back. Aha, here it is. So this one's all about ladybugs. So it will teach you information about ladybugs. So I am going to go ahead and read you a little bit. And after I read, I want you to be able to tell me a fact that you learn. And as I'm reading, I want you to try to visualize it. Try to see it in your head, just like when we read The Skunk. We can visualize no matter what type of book it is, fiction or nonfiction. Okay, you ready to listen? Okay, it's all about the life cycle of the ladybug. Everyone knows the shiny red beetle with black dots. Let me make this a little bigger. Excuse me. It's a common ladybug. Some ladybugs are black with red spots. Some are orange with yellow spots. Some have no spots at all. There are many kinds of ladybugs and they are all welcome in the garden. So we have a picture, but there's things in the word that aren't in the picture. Did you visualize anything that I said? Maybe you visualized the orange one with yellow spots or did you visualize one without any spots? Good, those were two facts. So you visualized a fact. Did anyone else learn a different fact? Okay. Male and female ladybugs mate in the spring. Then the female lays her bright yellow eggs on a leaf. In about a week, a tiny larva hatches from each egg. Wow, can you visualize them hatching out of there? What's that gonna look like? Make that pretend movie. What did you learn from that page? I learned, I didn't know that um, ladybug eggs were bright yellow like that. That's pretty. When I get eggs at the grocery store, they certainly don't look like those eggs. All right, let's listen to one more page. The larvae look nothing like adult ladybugs. The larvae are mostly black with tiny spines and many sections or segments. As soon as they hatch, the larvae go off searching for food. So that looks like them hatching out. What are you picturing now? Yeah, be searching for some food. And what did you learn? Okay, I'm going to stop there. What did we say this book is called? What kind of text? No, not Ladybug. It's called nonfiction. Everybody say nonfiction. Okay, nonfiction is not fake. It's not make believe. True facts. So when you are reading in school, sometimes you read fiction, sometimes you read nonfiction. Some people love both and some prefer one. All right, my friends, this is actually going to be the end of this unit. That means a test with your teacher is coming up soon. So I wanna tell you what's on the test and how to prepare for it. If you grab your student notebook, whatever it looks like, it might be a different color. And if you kind of flip through, let's see where we can look to help us. Okay. So we know the beginning has all the different sounds and we have been learning our, all of our R controls and now we've learned all of these vowel teams. Neither of these things will be on the test. This is something you'll keep practicing all year because it will help you when you read and write, but you won't be tested on it yet. All right, if you keep flipping through, you see some things about closed syllables, bonus letters, all of that could be on the test because you've already learned it. And then we see some things about suffixes. So you're definitely going to have words with suffix S, I, N, G, and E, D. So you need to really work on tapping out the base word and then adding the suffix ending. You've got this. You've been working so hard. Then the middle of our notebook is all these words of the day, all the vocabulary. What I want you to do is pause the screen right now and just practice reading these. Read the words and all the sentences we've put in here. That is great practice. Okay, don't, don't leave me yet because I want to tell you one more thing. And then after that, the last thing in your notebook is trick words. So you can also practice reading the trick words. And then if any of them are hard ones for you, you can practice writing them too on your whiteboard, 
or rainbow writing. Rainbow writing is when you pick three colors and you write the word one, one color, then you go right over it in another color, and then in a third color. So we are actually going to stop the video for today and you have two jobs. Read all of the vocabulary words, all of the trick words, and then practice writing five trick words that are tricky for you. And you will be ready for the test. Great job, guys. Good luck.